everybody. Welcome to Art Lab at Home, where we do the cool science and art experiments that you could normally do in your library with your librarian in the comfort of our homes. My name is Katie. I am the children's librarian at the Clarkston Library, where you can normally find me. Uh, but right now, I'm stuck at home like everyone else. This is my sewing room. You can see it's a little messy behind me. It's been a long two months. We're going to ignore all that. And today, we're going to talk about secret messages. You ready? So there's a lot of different ways to send secret messages. Um, there's invisible ink, or you could use a cipher. And a cipher basically means a way of scrambling up words uh, so that someone else has to unscramble them to figure out what they mean. You've probably heard of a substitution cipher where you take one letter and replace it for another. Um, but there are hundreds of types of ciphers. And today we're gonna talk about what I think is the coolest cipher. It's called a Scatali cipher. cipher. That's a hard word to say two in a row. Uh, now I looked up how to pronounce this because it's spelled S-C-Y-T-A-L-E. And I wanted to make sure I knew how to pronounce it for you guys. And I found a lot of places that said, you say it's Scytail. And I found an equal amount that say Scitali. And I think we can make, pick which one we want. And I think Scitali is more fun to say. So that's what we're going with today. Now a Scitali cipher is one of the oldest ways we know of that people used to send secret messages. Um, the ancient Spartans in ancient Greece used the Scitali cipher when they were at war with Persia for generals to send communications back and forth. And the way that it worked then is that each uh, Greek general had a cylinder, kind of like this, and it was of equal length and of equal width as all of the other Greek, cylind Greek general cylinders. And when they wanted to send a secret message, they take a long strip of papyrus, what they used as paper back then, and they'd wrap it all the way around their cylinder. They could write out the message, and then when you unwrap the cylinder, all of the letters are jambled up. So that long strip would get sent over to another general. They'd wrap it around their cylinder, which again was the exact same size and the exact same width, and they could read the message. That's pretty cool. It's like a very neat way to send secret messages. And you don't have to like spend a whole lot of time trying to figure out invisible ink or writing a key for your cipher. You just have to make sure that each person on the end of your secret message chain has a cylinder that's the exact same size. Um, and so what we're gonna do today is make our own Scitali ciphers, but we're gonna use things that you can probably find around the house to do it. So let's get started. Today, you're going to need some tape, something to write with, some strips of paper. As you can see, I'm still using up my scraps of paper that I was using in the symmetry one last time. Um, these are about half an inch by 11 inches, and that's a great size. That half inch size really works well for this. Um, you're going to want a couple of them, and you're probably going to tape them together to make one really long strip. And the last thing you need is a cylinder. Now you can use a dowel like I have here, but if you're just starting out or just practicing, something a little bit fatter or wider is gonna be much easier to deal with. So you can use a water bottle, as long as the person that you're sending your message to has the exact same water bottle. Or, and I think this is super easy, you can just use a toilet paper tube bowl because those are the same size like pretty much everywhere. Okay, so we're gonna use this today. And the first thing that you're going to do is tape together a couple of your strips of paper so that you have one long strip of paper. And then you're going to tape the end of your one long strip of paper to the side of your toilet paper tube roll. And then you're going to start wrapping that piece of paper all the way around your toilet paper tube roll. And you want to make sure that your edges, you guys see that, are coming really close together, but that they're not overlapping. So once you get it wrapped all the way around, you'll go ahead and secure it on the other end with another little piece of tape. And now you have this great blank canvas that you can write a message on. So take your 
piece of paper and you're going to write your message across these strips of paper. You want one or two letters in each kind of segment, each strip of paper. And you don't want a letter to cross that line. So like, don't do an O right in the middle there. Let's try, hmm, what should we say? I mean, it's a secret, right? But, okay, I know what I'm gonna write. I'm gonna write, I love to read. So I wrote, I love to read right across that. It's a little hard to see on the pink in the camera, but I can see it here just fine. All you have to do is pick a different color marker. Um, and then what you can do is untape and let it unspool. And as you can see, now I just have one long strip of paper. That tape job didn't work so well. And it's got a whole bunch of letters on it but they're all kind of like separated and jumbled and you can't really see what it says. Now, if that still isn't good enough for you, you can rewrap. The rewrapping takes a little bit of time. It's just something you have to practice. Okay, so now to make it even more confusing, you rewrap, you can see I love to read, and then I'm just gonna go in and add some random letters in places where it doesn't affect the meaning of the message, but they're like still, you know, hanging out. So you could see that ZXP and be like, oh, what's that mean? But you look down and you can still see I love to read. And then I'll put maybe a Y and a K below it. So now I've added in extra letters to the mix and that just makes our strip of paper when it's unraveled even more confusing. Like why is that K in the middle? You don't need a K for I love to read. Um, and so now what you would do is take your strip of paper and you would send it to your friend or to your little brother or sister or to your cousin and you would make sure that they know that they have to use a toilet paper tube, but you could send them a secret message that no adult could decipher unless they know the trick of the Scatali cipher. Okay, my friends, that is all that we have for today. Um, I will see you guys next week for another Art Lab. I hope you enjoyed this brief trip into secret messages.